It's a love of horses that has spanned a lifetime. Royal Ascot has a special place in the Queen's heart and she has missed the opening day at the Berkshire course just once during her 69 year reign. Grand National winning trainer Lucinda Russell feels Her Majesty's love of horses is mutual. Yeah, I mean, I think, as I say, it just sort of goes back to the love of the horse. I mean, I think she, you can see when she rides, there was that lovely photograph of her recently riding a, a beautiful white horse. And um, I think, you know, she must, it, it's just great. The way, when you see footage of her around horses, you can see that she genuinely loves them. She looks them in the eye and she touches them and they, they seem to adore her. And I think that's a, it's a measure of a person, isn't it? It's not, they, the horses don't know that she's royalty, but they, they seem to adore her as well. I've been very, very lucky. I uh, received an OBE from her. Um, a couple of years ago and actually we talked about racing she'd had a winner the night before so we discussed how any winner is, a, is something to celebrate and it was this first classic win for Carrozza in the Oaks at Epsom in 1957 which probably fueled her love of racing and Carrozza it is challenged now by Shotgun Dider and Carrozza in the last 150 yards so have to the Queen and then clear and Piggy's working hard on her Shotgun Dider's coming right up and suppose it can only be a fraction if it's Carrozza so the Queen leads in her first classic winner, a magnificent Derby Oaks triumph for jockey Lester Piggott and the man behind the scenes, trainer Noel Merlis. A great result as the royal owner, who has so often greeted defeat with a smile, enjoys a big race triumph. The Queen also enjoyed classic wins with Paul Mall, High Clare, Estimate and Dunfermline. Eight times national winning hunt jockey Peter Scudamore feels she has been an incredible ambassador for racing. It's whatever you think about the royal family, I, I, you know, that, that's for each individual. To, to, to have his own opinion but I have just the horse part that they've brought to us is I mean I think in in any sport you know it's, um, it gives you something to speak about talk about and makes people normal and and, and they are it's fantastic I'm, 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 I'm very very grateful to them to what they've done for horses one thing that she's never managed to do is have a, a derby winner yeah well I mean she knows where we are. If she wants to send a horse here in training, we'll, we'll put that right for her. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> and it's not just racing that Her Majesty enjoys. Earlier this month, her horse, Balmoral Leah, a five-year-old grade Dun mare, was named Supreme Champion at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. The Queen's love of horses also extends to her beloved Balmoral, where the stud there breed ponies, which are used by the royal family to reach inaccessible parts of the state while out shooting. And just down the road here in Ballater, where the Queen is a regular visitor, the Jubilee celebrations are already underway. David Donaldson, GB News.